Good morning guys, Automotive Acquires here. It's been a few days since I posted a uh, new video or anything. Um, went on a little vacation, got back, and uh, got word that uh, I, you guys know that we've been talking about adding another truck to the channel. And I'm not a Ram hater, but the 6.4, I don't want active fuel management. So that, that was out no matter what. And after I drove one about three weeks ago and I posted uh, some content on that, I decided that it was going to have to either be a GM gas or, you know, even potentially putting a 6.8 liter Ford against it. So fast forward a few weeks, went out and drove a, another six speed, um, 23 and it was in the, uh, the green metallic and man, it was a great truck, but it did not have the puck system that I want because that way I can take the hitch out of the Ford go back and forth with no sweat. Um, so, uh, that, led me into the 24s. Well, the 24 build website comes in and out and in and out and, in and out. And I think that's because as they reconfigure packages and options that they want to have available uh, and pricing, that that's the reason why it goes up and down. Um, I don't think it's necessarily because uh, they're, they're limiting production. The dealers are the ones that are going to be able to submit that order anyway. So even if you build one, um, then that's where that's going to come into. So I decided before I left to go ahead and build a 24 because I think really to put the six speed 6.6, .6, I mean 6.6 .6 gas just doesn't have the same power as the Godzilla. It doesn't even have the same power as the baby Zilla that's coming out. So I really wanted to give it the best opportunity to um, to fight against it. And, and I and I just I still just love the look of the Chevy. Don't knock the GMC guys or anything like that. I think GMCs are nice, but for me the Chevy just seems more athletic, different looking. Than, than anything else that's out there. And also the new interior, after driving the half ton, uh, the interior is fantastic. So uh, I decided to go ahead and place an order for a 24 uh, Chevy Silverado HD. Now, I wanted to just show you this, but the, the issues with the Chevy website and how it saves stuff, it's like I sent the bill to the dealer the dealer was able to submit the build based on that, and now I can't even pull up the build, so I have to rebuild this truck uh, to show you what we ended up getting. Um, so I thought I'd just walk you through how the process basically works. Um, that truck, the uh, MSRP, I think, came to 739-ish, whatnot, um, and that is with the gas here, but with the new interior, the new 10-speed Allison, Again, Allison's an, an excellent transmission hooked to that, that motor. It's going to give that the best fight against anything else out there. Um, so without further ado, let's show you how I built this truck. And then if you guys have comments, why, then we'll go from there. All right, so from within the Chevy website, obviously you can go in here and you can choose your configurator. Now, uh, most guys that need an eight-foot box... Um, that's that's gonna be you guys over here. But for me, I am a uh, crew cab standard bed guy. I don't want the eight foot bed for 99% of the stuff I'm doing. I don't use a slider hitch either. So um, I just don't need that length. Uh, that is a monster truck. But I've had some eight foot beds in my past crew cab long beds and I'm just past needing that. So crew cab standard bed, go down here and click trims. So this was where I bounced back and forth. I like swag, I like everything. So I just decided that I was going to go LTZ because when I built out an LT with buckets and everything like that, really other than minus the leather, it was only a couple grand cheaper. So the LTZ is going to come with a lot of the stuff I was adding to the LT minus the leather. So <clears throat> I just decided to do that. Now, <clears throat> if you do go with, say, a custom package or a custom you know package, which you won't see it here because this is also the one ton. So I decided to do a 3500 uh, versus a 2500. Reason being is is the extra payload, the extra leaf pack. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same truck um, from that, but you you will get more tow ability. And really, because with the LTZ you need it because if you're going to add all the swag, it's going to take away from your payload and your towing. So I already picked one ton on here. That's why you don't see the custom trim. That being said, if you were to get a 2500, you would see work truck. Uh, custom and then LT. If you get the custom, you do get the current 2023 interior. So just keep that in mind because I love the custom look. I like the packaging. It's it's right on there. I mean, it's great between an LT and a work truck, but it is more basic. So that 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 mind, that's why you're not seeing that here 
on the 3500 you get the wt work truck the lt the ltz and the high country and then you get the sub packaging below that um so that's why but you know if you do get the custom because you love the look and you love the pricing just keep in mind you won't be getting the new uh full L L LCD crystal split display in the Speedo, and you won't be getting the new 12-inch uh, radio also. So I decided to go LTZ on this, and right here, the 6.6 .6 gas. Now, if you do go into this option, you'll see where it initially says six-speed, but does, don't let that kind of freak you out. All right, so we went down here to interior. Um, I chose dark ash metallic. I love the, uh, the gray that's on my F F250 right now. So I went with the dark ash, but you will notice that they replaced the uh, the lighter uh, metallic red that was pretty sick uh, with the sober metallic. That's more of a burgundy. That's not going to float my boat. Love red hot. Um, and again, depending on your trim level, some of these colors will just go away. Okay. I think the high country only has an option of three or four, um, and the GMC is going to be the same. Three quarter tons is going to be the same, and everything like that. Oh no, wait, here's the radiant tint, the clear coat. I like this one. Uh, sparkly white's not for me. Uh, this replaced the North Sky Blue, uh, and then all these grays are just different. So you know, depending on what color you like, but I really like this one. Now, from this configurator, you can grab and click and move stuff around. So I did do that. So then we went to uh, wheels on my build, and I opted for the 20-inch eight-spoke bright. Now it's going to change it on the picture here, <clears throat> and uh, I just like that wheel. Um, and the price point's good. I don't like all black wheels anymore. Uh, for some reason, I need a little bit more like this where it has some, you know, little bit of, you know, I guess, not anodized look, but just kind of a breakup of the black. Uh, but I do like this. And through looking through the tow guide, uh, getting this 20 will not affect the tow ability of it. So a lot of times when you go to a 20 and a different wheel, different tire, it can and will change it. All right. So... If you want to choose different tires down here, you can. Uh, but uh, if you want more of a like a highway tread, um, I don't know what brand these are going to come in. Obviously, you can see in the picture they're very nondescript, and a lot of them you can actually see, um, you know, what brand you might get. Then they do offer like a good wrench TKO, but my uh, experience with those tires and towing it just eats these TKOs up. They're, they're great looking tires. And if you are off-roader most of the time and you tow very little, that's great. But I, uh, just towing with one summer, I mean, dang, you're chewed them up in like 15,000 miles. So not a fan of those. So from there, I also went with this Gideon. Uh, I love the way that this changes the look of the interior here on this build, uh, the, t the contrasting with the black and the gray. Uh, my parents got a lighter colored gray on their Pathfinder and just, man, it looks classy. So then from here, I also went from bucket seats and you'll see where the console is going to change. Now you have to choose one of these packages. I just opted for the big one here, the 5,900, because what happens is if you a la carte, all of these, it ends up being more. So, um, you basically get the heads up display in this, uh, power reciting window, bucket seats, rear camera, um, and you basically get all of these other ones too. Chevy, sometimes if you buy the big package, you'll discount these other ones. But you'll see here in a minute where basically it it adds all of this stuff right now. So then we go down here and hit select. I really wish I could just walk you through it. But you'll see here in a second how this is going to change the picture. <clears throat> Come on now. Usually, there we go. So I just like this. It has this really cool like dark gray fake wood. So it's just really, really sharp. So good looking there. I love the heads up display, um, especially because it gives you a ton of great information. Uh, and that you can see right here where it gave us the ventilated seats, which was a part of the other one. Now you can go with black. And then if you do go with like a high country, you can choose that blue interior, which I like that one back in the uh, 90s when they had all brown and all red and all blue. Uh, but I think it's a little much for me. Uh, now, so right here it says right you can see where these are already checked and they didn't check them on the previous page So you get the front buckets you get the wireless charging um, You get the safety alert seat, which I would turn that off I'm not a fan of it, but the trailing provisions front rear park assist now any of these if you want more information You can click the little icon there for the eye and it'll walk you through everything you're getting there um, I do like the way they place this in there versus the way my uh, 21 Super Duty had in it, but when you've done that, you just click out. But you can see how all of these are now checked, but on the previous page, they weren't. So I also did uh, 
Um, see the convenience package with the heated seats rear. I did go ahead and add the gooseneck fifth wheel prep. And right now you don't see really any pricing on that, uh, but you will later in that. I also like the Chevy uh, Spray Tech Liner. I think it's a good quality, but I like the embossed bow tie. Um, snowplow prep package. Um, I did not do that one because one of the other options omits another. So um, as you scroll down here, I don't get the Chevy side steps because I like to pick out my own. So um, Midnight and Sport Editions, those are specific two colors. So if you click on those, you'll find out that they will tell you if you pick, say, Dark Ash, it's going to take the these packages away or take your color away and you'll have to pick a different one. So um, you can obviously see that we already had all this, so we don't need to add that. Um, I did do the Z71. And that basically doesn't charge you as much as the 2000 bucks because, um, but it's not subtracting it today, but it doesn't charge you as much there. And then from there, uh, we go into options. And as, as a, at an LTZ, you're pretty much loaded out. Um, but I don't want body color mirrors, uh, caps. And the power rear slider was already in there, which I like. Um, power up and down tailgate. So if you opt for the um, the multi-flex tailgate, which initially it was kind of gimmicky to me, um, but now I actually kind of like it because trying to get in out of the F-250 without the tailgate step, man, it's a pain in the butt. But you won't be able to add power up and down with the multi-flex. So if you click this, it'll ask you to change some options there. I always do smoked amber lights or... Uh, chicken feet lights or marker lamps, whatever you want to call those bad boys, I always get those on all my trucks if I can. I'd get them on a half ton. I don't really care. Uh, I'm not a super fan of any of the boards that they make there, so I did do the um, the front rear splash molded guards, and I did do the actual Chevy uh, wheel well marker, so, or wheel well uh, liners. So here's where you can see it's got the 11.5 GVW. Um, if you add this, it's going to take a couple things away. Um, diesel exhaust brakes not applicable on this bad boy. Uh, on the Ford, you can get an engine block heater on the uh, the gasser, but I don't really find that super applicable. You can get extra alternators if you want, whatnot. And then from there, you got the safety pack. Now you can go up here and click on interior. And then from here, pretty much everything was included in that 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 Mac Daddy package. Um, now I do like the Chevy uh, all weather mats here. Now this is included in the package, so those are just as good as the Husky Landers, and I think they're really awesome. Uh, Universal Home Remote comes in the LTZ Mac package. Uh, this rear under seat storage not going to do that. I care less about that. Uh, it does have adaptive cruise, which is good. And then there's some more safety tech options where you can come down here and see if those float your boat. Now from here, you can go to your summary. And then this is where you can actually kind of see like a stock photo-esque of your build. And you can kind of, you know, click on a few things and see some pictures. It's not going to be a true to life, but I, th I know I'm going to like this uh, this color. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And... Um, so, like I said, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this one because, again, I know a lot of guys were like, oh, I love Chevy and you just look forward to Actually, no, I just love trucks and cars in general. And I think that this truck, even with the oil usage, if you watch my other videos, um, I think it's something that you'll have to manage, just like with the Ford potential issues if you want to do them. So, uh, you know, just check your oil, change your oil, maintain it use it for the right purpose now a lot of people are like why did you buy that gas you should have bought a diesel you know i don't need a diesel and um at this point i ordered that 23 ford which is coming in at some point um it does have a build date in april but after driving the gas i just enjoy it much better because it just doesn't have as much nuances to all the epa stuff i love going out remote starting and it's warm uh, by the time I'm ready to drive it, and I don't have to worry about the other stuff. Now, from here, again, you can go now into your interior photos. It only gives you a couple of photos of it. And and frankly, you know, if we're if we're going, you know, talking about why I also did this one, because uh, I want to put a couple trucks uh, on the channel and um, and put them against each other and do some towing with them. 
And and really, the I don't want to drive something that I don't like. I like the Chevy. I like the GMC. I like the Ford. Uh, I've really came to like all my Fords in the last couple of years. Um, and uh, I don't need to go to a diesel. Uh, we already know that those tow excellent. But if I can put it, this I think is going to be a hot contender now that they've redone this interior. And I think a lot of people coming from a light duty truck or an SUV towing that this is going to be something that they, they might really need to look at. Especially when they're talking about, um, you know, they don't need a diesel for towing all this stuff uh, all the time, but they're looking for something that's really nice. And this time, Chevy finally did with the interior. Now, one thing I will note is uh, the 23 Ford that's coming in, and the reason why I wouldn't get it, I like analog gauges with a little splash of LCD screen to each their own. But Ford's new 12 inch productivity screen is, frankly, it does give you information, but it's very bland. It's not much to look at. This is where your eyes are focusing 99% of the time with all your information. And I'm sorry, it just looks like a generic kid's tablet. And that's a bummer because I like the ones I have in my XLT and I like the ones I had in my Lariat. Um, but Chevy really knocked out of the park with uh, this new um, gauge cluster here. Because again, I'm not a fan of having this all LCD. However, if it has to be that way in these upper trims, then I'd rather have it look nice. And, uh, and I think they did really well with this. And then this, this huge 12 inch screen is absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah, so there is my, uh, Chevy build dark ash LTZ 3,500 6.6 .6 gas with 10 speed Allison. Um, and this light, what do they call this? Gideon gray something or other. Yeah, it's, there we go. Gideon with very dark atmosphere. So that's how the truck's basically built. Um, now, if you do want to do this, again, you can send this in an email to the dealer. You can send it to yourself. You can save it. I would recommend printing it at this point because I can't access that again. So I wanted to just bring that up and show it to you guys. But then I thought, well, we could just walk through it and build it. But I would definitely uh, uh, email that to yourself. And then that way you can send it to them, but then print it out. And again, I was at like 73.9, so I'm not for sure what packaging changed in the last day or so. But you're going to be subject to that. When your order's placed, you're going to be subject to the prices that they dictate at the time um, and see what happened there. I will keep you guys informed on when that truck gets here. Um, they say four to six months. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't expect it here before the end of summer. But this will be what we're adding to the channel. So I appreciate you guys being here. Please do like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to keep making some more content. We'll see you on the next one, guys.